C.C. Capwell. I can't believe that they let the man who murdered my son... Joe Perkins has been released. C.C. Capwell here. What happened with Santana? They're going to go after you when you leave this place. You heard me on the phone. No comment about the fire. No information, you hear? The part of C.C. Capwell is now being played by Paul Burke. Rosa told me she was very disturbed. She's right. The part of C.C. Capwell is now being played by Charles Bateman. You know, I practically stopped coming down here altogether. Santana was the one that had the idea of moving the gazebo closer to the house. It's our job to protect them. No matter how old they are, they're still our children. Oh my goodness. No, you can't blame yourself. Last year, around the same time, I read the story about this family in Florida. Oh, please, just tell us it wasn't the same monster. Greg won't let anyone hurt his family. Not without a hell of a fight. Robin Wright, an actress of remarkable talent and renown. You know her most recently in her role as the stunning and cunning Claire Underwood from House of Cards. and we can take action so easily. You can go to enoughproject.org and go to the take action page and press your button, it's so simple. Say that again. Enoughproject.org, <laughs> take action page. I mean, um, I think I would be more effective if I had Claire Underwood's wardrobe. <laughs> I think I've reflected on this question. Well, you know, that's funny. And I think you'd be more effective if you had my husband. <laughs> Well, on that note, um, <laughs> you have like the opposite I have, of my I husband. have something for you um, because this is the Claire Power dress, so I thought that was very apropos. And that's oh, wow, 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 wow. Well, you that's stand your up and wow. You stand up and present it. I love that. She read my mind. <laughs> okay, watch out, Russians. <laughs> You know Ferguson Donnelly from McCann? Of course, Ferg. Good to see you. It's been a while. I don't care if you know a girl from Kalamazoo. We don't want you on the business because we don't want you on any business. They don't walk around the office like this shit doesn't stay. And then go out and tell the world we're what? A bunch of black Irish thugs. People come in and out of our doors all the time, Ken. But they don't walk out with $4 million there of bird's eye products. Roger said he'd be glad to recommend you. I'm Bill Avery. I'm a forensic investigator. I'm here to build a case against the Pacific Northwest Mining Company. I came in to crack this case and fall in love with Abigail. Sounds like you're thinking about staying. Actually, I am. I'd like that. But we're gonna have some questions about Bill. Anytime I can do a period piece, because I've, you know, been known for television soap operas, which is all, you know, just you there, kind of raw yourself. Mm -hmm. But when you can jump into a 1910 pioneer, costume horses, western town, when I did Jekyll and Hyde on Broadway, an 1880s gothic tragedy, wow. you know, it's, th those type of things for actors are just, you know, gold for me. So. We love her in House of Cards, but we also love her because she really cares about Africa. Actress Robin Wright joins me now. You know, uh, I talked to a woman who was 24 years old and she was uh, gang raped five men in a row. and she will never be back to normal. Um, she probably will never be able to walk again. And I said, what was the most harrowing moment of that? Not only because her child was witness, witnessing the act, um, is that she said, when the fifth man raped me, he said, I am going to not only rape you, but I'm going to rape you with my machine gun. Uh, and, and permanently destroy you because we believe 
that the woman has all the power. So isn't it ironic that they know the women have this incredible power and force, but he wanted to usurp that power by destroying hers.